Howdy, Chef Alec here, uh, Alec Cornell. Uh, I'm going to be cooking some uh, zucchini uh, squash soup, but butternut squash soup. Okay, so we're going to be making some butternut squash and zucchini soup. Uh, it's it's um like this green soup, but I was colorblind, and I used to call it blue. I am blue. Well. Or I, I was, I am, I'm also like illiterate also now. Um, so it was called sopa salud. Well, I call it sopa salud. It's because I couldn't even say azul, which is blue in Spanish. So yeah, I've discovered two things on very early in my life. Okay, so first step, you want to take one of these bad boys. This is a zucchini. Cats are scared of them for some reason. We gotta wash this bad boy. How do you, how do you clean this? All of them. Oh, all of them in the colander. Oh. Okay, I think that's good. Um, you take one of them. Yeah, that small one. Okay, okay, now we're gonna cut it with my handy dandy, slightly blunt knife. And the end's blunt. Okay, so I'm gonna try to... Oh yeah, and you also wanna take the ends off because the ends make it uh, taste horrible. Apparently this one already has its end taken off. So you're gonna want to, uh, you're gonna want to circumcise your zucchini. And... What? Oh, the other end too, yeah. It's... Okay, maybe never mind about the whole, uh, yeah, you're going to want to take your uh, kniff, cut it in half, and then you, you take your handy dandy pot, don't, don't ask me how big it is, it's, uh, big, and then you're going to take, um, your other pot, and you're going to cut off the, 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 the other end, no, 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 okay, boom, okay, boom, 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 yo, this one's still sticky. Kaboom, boom. Watch, I'm gonna show you something I learned back in now. Uh, I'm not gonna break the knife. No, I wanna break my finger. Uh, okay, and then you're just gonna go. Yeah. yeah. Like, like a, you know, like a samurai just. See, that's how chefs do it. So I'm a chef, that's why. You take your pot, and and then uh, you, uh, um, you open this thing. Boom. And, ew. You take everything of this frozen stuff, uh, butternut. butternut squash, into the pot. Oh god, my nose is running. I'll just add this part at the beginning because I was supposed to do that in the beginning. Yeah. Oops. Boom, garbage. And then you're just going to take all your uh, uh, cucumber giblets and you're just going to... Zucchini, by the way. Oh, zucchini. I'm going to put some uh, water in the pot. Now give it a shake. Make sure they're enjoying their stay. How much? Uh, you put enough to uh, cover uh, the highest or the tallest zucchini. Oh god, they're floating. Okay, uh, do it until they float. Okay, then uh, you're gonna add salt. Add salt. Boom. Uh, you're gonna want to choose the uh, the small one, so for extra precision. So that's about a pinch. Wow, that's nothing. All of it? Yeah. It's not pinch more. though. Add the chicken cubes over here on our trusty handy dandy plate. And you just throw it in. Uh, okay, you're gonna take your ingredients. Put it on the, 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 the big burner. And you're gonna boil them. At eight or max. Eight? Yes. Eight or max. Depending on your stove. Depending on the stove. I don't know what that means. But I'm gonna do it. Which one's which? Oh, this one. Boom! Oh, 
Oh, look what time it is. It's finished. Uh, you're going to want to take a fork, which is hot. Oh. You're going to take your fork. You're also going to want your glove. I got a Christmas glove. Because uh, uh, I'm just that good. You're going to take the... Why is it making that noise? You're going to take the lid off. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. You're going you're gonna to take your... Uh, your squash racket. No, I'm just kidding. It's a spoon, colander spoon. It's not actually a tennis racket. I almost fooled you. Um, you're gonna take yo. You're gonna take a, a zucchini, and uh, you're gonna look at it. And if it just, oh my god, that's soft. If you're just gonna poke it with the fork. If it's like super soft, it's ready. Oh yeah, you're also gonna want to turn off the stove. Okay. Wait, no, it's got to be more percussive. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna want to get uh, your handy dandy blender. If you don't have one, uh, you must be living under a rock. Okay, you're gonna take your insanely heavy and boiling pot. Chat fish out, as my mom just said, out of the pot. Put them inside the blender. You sure that's how you do it? You're gonna pour, oh my god, pour some water. Boom. Okay, and then I put the lid on. Put it on the low. And then you're just gonna wait for it to do its thing. Making scary noises. What do I do? Yeah. And then you flick the ludicrous Careful. speed switch. Okay. You got your you got your beautiful green soup. Looks great. Uh, how do you open this? Mm. And now you're gonna just pour it in and then. Your handy handy Pyrex bowl. Trust me, we're not trying to poison you. It may look like it, but uh, it's good. <laughs> All right, and you're gonna add what's left in the pot into the blender. You're gonna blend it, and then you're gonna increase the speed. More. 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 And you're gonna leave it and let it do its thing again. While that's doing its thing, you're gonna take the pot and you put it back. You're gonna put it up to medium. And you're gonna let it warm up. Now you're gonna take about 100 to 250 grams of butter and add it to the pot and let it melt. You take your wooden spoon. And you move the butter. Let it coat the bottom. Then once the butter's all like melted, then you're gonna take that bad boy and pour it in there. No. No? You don't take that. Well you're gonna take that and pour it into a pot. What? You put it into the pot. Oh my god. Okay, now you're gonna take the, this water, pour it into here. So unfortunately our camera ran out of battery or whatever um, and yeah so we had just finished putting the remainder of the water that was in this bowl into there, slowly mixed it, made sure it was a nice like consistency, not too thick, not too thin. And now we're going to be adding this cream into the, the soup just to give it a little bit more flavor and to make it slightly thinner. Mm -hmm. yep, it's about a quarter cup. It also depends on the size of the pot, but uh, you're also going to add some pepper. This is the last, the last step. You're going to add some pepper and you're going to add some salt. So the salt you don't want to go too over the tops because it's already, already quite salty. So you're going to, you're going to add a little teensy wincy pinch like this much. 
So now you're gonna just give it a good old taste test. That's dirty. Uh, a good old taste test with your that's a big spoon. With your good old spoon, you're gonna taste test. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta mix the cream in. You don't wanna. So you're gonna taste test it. You're gonna see how well or how good it tastes. Ow. Don't worry, I'm a, fe I'm a professional. I've done this before. Okay, you're gonna take your pepper and you're gonna just uh, give it just a slight. Did I break it? Okay, a slight bit of pepper and you mix it and you're pretty much done now. Bam! You ready to taste test, my friend? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Taste test it. Yeah. Taste test it. It's good.